Good morning. It is Friday. So excited because we have next week off. I'm outside enjoying the sun. My toes are getting warm. Oh, and look. If you kill it, it won't fly right. This one's already got a weird corner. See, that does not make it ergonomic. Why do you keep killing them? Yeah, terrible, but he runs after it. Beautiful, beautiful day. It is, I think, 67 degrees or so already this morning. I think it's supposed to be a high of low 70s. Lovely day. Oh, I need to pick up some of those sticks. Honey, it's okay. Um, I'm gonna... All done for now. All done. All done. Yeah, you could stare all you want. You look cute, but I'm gonna ignore you. So, more leaves on the ground. Not a cloud in the sky. So beautiful. Don't want to aim the camera right at the sun. It's right above. And there's my other trusty companion. Uh, chickens have been opened up. I turned their light off. And because it's, I have the garage door open so they can enjoy the fresh air. And let's see what's on the agenda today. I have a couple of things I need to finish for work definitively because I'm going to be off for the next week and then change my out of office and my voicemail and Monday's Columbus Day so I think there's going to be uh, all the schools in I think there's no mail and banks are closed so anything that I have to mail out has to be done tomorrow so that's the other thing that I need to do oh look itchy over there and oh it's just it's so just vitamin D in small increments and I don't I do not have any sunscreen on but I'm not gonna be out here more than a few minutes but vitamin D is crucial because uh, parts of the world that don't get that much Sun during the winter um, I think they compensate with lamps I remember and maybe this is oh so long ago um, Siberian children in daycare were stripped down to their underpants and stood around a light. Why do I have that image stuck in my head? Probably some iconic photograph that just kind of imprinted. Isn't that funny? The things that can, that are in the quagmires of your brain. And no, not a character from a cartoon. Oh. To be careful when you're aiming your camera at dogs because you know they do dog stuff outside and I don't wow they're really bright but it's gorgeous I probably should have put sunglasses on but anyway I just want to say good morning and kind of give you a heads up on what you might be seeing today I got all the garbage and recycling done yesterday uh, changed a litter box cleaned out the coop um, made dinner for those of you who missed it, it was um, boneless pan-seared pork chops with a cranberry and honey mustard sauce, which is just a finishing pan sauce after they were cooked. And I popped everything in the oven with sliced apples. So the apples got soft and picked up the flavors off of the pork chops. And then we also had a side of yummy acorn squash, which was really good. So I posted photographs <clears throat> on my blog, on Instagram, and on Facebook. So if you want to see sneak peeks of what I do during the day prior to seeing my videos, because they do, I try my best to put the videos on the daily vlogs up that same day, but... Obviously it has to be at the end of the day and sometimes posting late at night gets tricky because the last couple of days there's been some tech issues on the on YouTube side. Um, 
although I've been debating about posting footage the morning after because I know I'm missing views or um, people aren't seeing it in their queue because it gets buried after, um, under other videos because you know, the way the queue works in um, YouTube is it's in um, time sequence so if I put a video up at 11.30 p.m. and you check your queue of um, channels you're subscribed to the following morning and overnight you know you subscribe to several hundred people who may have posted videos mine gets buried under unless you unless you subscribe to get a notice through email which is what I do to a few channels I know I definitely don't want to miss something from so that's always helpful Wow, Chester, mommy really loves you. Except the surprise you left me this morning, which I did not love at all. No. I can love you and not like what you did all at the same time. He's like, fine. I'll just go somewhere and lick my <laughs> chuck it. So I do have some things I want to get done today. Um, I think Polly's coming home early, so... Uh, because I don't have any specific plans for lunch, maybe we'll go get some Indian food for lunch. We haven't been out in a while because yeah, I've been cooking. Tonight's dinner is all appetizers. So um, it's going to be, I think, eggplant caviar, which is ikra in Russian, with crusty bread and um, stuffed grape leaves and cured olives. Maybe a mixed drink. To relax, enjoy, and celebrate the weekend. And so we are gonna have a tag sale uh, next Saturday, the 19th. I have a whole bunch of stuff that I've been putting aside from my craft space, my studio, and there's a lot of um, things that we've just been kind of gathering all over the house. My mom's gonna bring some stuff over as well. So that should be good, barring any bad weather. So. Alright, I can't stand his crying, so I'm going to go play with him for a little bit and then go in and continue working. So I'm sitting at my desk trying to put some things away uh, while something is running on my computer for work. And I came across this um, Artie Cake package that I received from um, a YouTube viewer. Thank you for the life of me. It escapes me who, but I truly appreciate it. So I opened them up and straightened them out, and then I thought... Well, let me check out what's on the inside because it looks like there's a bunch of information. And it's the, uh, it's like a mini biography of of the artist, uh, Amy. Let's see. And it's in English, in French, and in Spanish. And what's funny is that I took French in high school. I want to say two years, but it could have been less... But I've always had this um, affinity to languages. I love hearing foreign languages. Um, English is a foreign language to me, although I have spoken it since 1979 when I was a child. But we lived in Italy and Austria before coming to the States, so I mean, I, I understand a little bit of Italian. Obviously, very, very rusty. Um, I also understand a little bit of German. Uh, a l tiny little bit of Yiddish, not a lot, uh, obviously Russian. Some Ukrainian, some words are completely over my head because I never really spoke it, but I just love the way French sounds. Even the most mundane and simple things can sound really pretty and... yeah. So that was my little distraction, so I was thinking I have a lot of embellishments that are just sitting around, I could totally make these. And it's not that uh, Amy's art is um, can't be made by someone else. It's that she um, put together unusual components like metal and lace, you know, like in this example. And who doesn't like a little bling? So that, you know, she gets kudos for. Excuse me, I'm getting the sniffles because I think I have allergies. Weird for me to just suddenly develop them, but you can develop allergies at any time in your life. So I have been, let me just move this aside for a second. I have been keeping on track with my little book 
and I haven't embellished it at all for my food journal, but I have been keeping track of everything, so that was, it's only been a few days, but I am writing everything down to keep myself honest. This morning I had a pear, then a toasted sesame bagel with salmon cream cheese from Dun uh, Drunken Donuts, and a medium coffee with hazelnut uh, half shot. Um, Polly came home with a surprise for that. I haven't had lunch yet because I did, I did eat that breakfast or the bagel quite late. It was probably 11.30 or so because I only had the pear uh, this morning. So I have my seltzer. Uh, have about half a liter uh, so far so I guess I could cross that. Let me grab my pencil. Cross that half mark right there to one and I try to drink three a day so that's the water and the A's the antacid. I did not do well yesterday because I, I, I definitely because of the sausage leftovers at lunch acidic foods have a tendency to um, increase that acid production in your stomach so if you have um, problem with heartburn if it's something that you've experienced in the past that would you know definitely um, make it act up and I need to really I need to eat better eat cleaner eat healthier and eat lighter smaller portions more maybe than just the three meals but you know smaller five meals but smaller a day so that's why I'm keeping track of the antacid consumption as well if anyone was curious what that A stood for then W obviously is for the water I don't really count the coffee towards my water con you know my water consumption I I mean you know seltzer or just water oh and speaking of water I have to change the water cooler you know it's funny I leave clues all around the house for my husband to kind of do something that I end up taking care of not because we have assigned roles or anything but like the water cooler um, um, was emptied last night I always make myself um, a liter of seltzer because I drink um, a, I drink about a third of it before going to bed and then I just leave it on my nightstand when I get up in the morning. Um, I like having some water so that's re to me that's very refreshing because sometimes during the night you also want some water so I have it in a closed bottle so it's not open. They can get knocked over by a cat. Anyway, so um, the water cooler five gallon emptied out last night. There was probably just a little bit left in the reservoir. So I decided to just turn the cooler off. There's no need for it to run for, you know, 10, 12 hours with nothing in it, heating and cooling, because we have both the hot water and cold. So I turned it off. My husband's um, cell phone charger is right next to the cooler in the kitchen. He has a little, there's a little charging station there for whatever um, items that need to be recharging, and that's where he keeps his cell phone. So I thought when he saw that the cooler was empty and turned off, he would replace it. But no, I'm not sure whether it's a boy thing or if it's my husband's thing. He just doesn't notice things like that. So now that I think of it, I need to put the new cooler on, a new um, bottle on the cooler. And one egg so far from the chickens. They haven't been particularly productive. I. Although I do have them open. It's about 70 degrees right now, I think. Hold on, let me look. Weather Channel. Oh, and we are having a tag sale on the 19th. So it's not, not tomorrow, but the Saturday after. And I'm going to have crafty things. So it's 72 outside. It's nice. It's a nice, beautiful day. Tomorrow, 68. Sunday, 65. So, it's pretty nice. And I did check the 10-day forecast. It's supposed to be around 60 and cloudy, but only 10% chance of rain next Saturday. So, I have to get my my in gear and get all that stuff ready. Um, I already have a couple of totes that are all ready to go out. We're going to borrow some tables from the Elks Lodge um, up the street so we can set them up. And Holly asked if I was going to be making any treats like cookies or uh, like apple cider, apple cider um, donuts. I don't know. I don't want to really commit to it yet because we are on vacation. I don't want to spend half my vacation getting ready for the tag sale. 
that's not the that was not the intent. So anyway, I'm going to oh, my um, the job that I was running is done, so I have to return to that, and then I'll see what else I have on my to-do list today. Oh, change my wa change the water bottle. So I'll go do that now before I forget. All right, I finally broke out broke down and decided to embellish the cover of my food journal. I found a little pack of. Um, I think this was a Fiskars mini punch that came in a pack of three. Unfortunately, I had to return it, but I was trying to play around with it to make sure that it actually worked because one of the three didn't work. One or two, I think one of the three did not work, so I had to return the whole three pack. Although I really like this little leaf one, so I had a little. I found a little bag of leaves that I had punched out, and I also found this uh, Cardinal Martha Stewart. I think it's yeah. I think it's a cardinal punch, punch out of the same uh, paper remnant that I had. And then I'm just playing around with the placement of the spell binders, nest abilities, in labels 7. And it looks like an open book to me. So I thought I would do a layer in the bright purple and then in like this fleshy burlap -y color on top. Put a couple of staples in the centers. I don't know. Playing around with it, so I just posted a picture of it on Instagram. The before, the during, and then I'll post a follow up of the after. So that's what I'm doing after work today because it's quiet and peaceful, and I'm not entirely sure what I'm making for dinner yet. I know I have. I didn't run out to the store during lunch to pick up eggplant, so I don't know. Since we're on vacation, I'll see what hubby wants to do. I know we have plenty that we could just have here. There aren't any more leftovers from last night. That was very successful and popular. So, But um, we typically do kind of appetizery dinners on Friday because we like to try various things or more than one or a couple of things. So we'll see. I'll share that with you once we decide. But back to this. I have to find my... Um, B plates for my cuddle bug so I can cut that out. An expected adult nap? Now Chinese. <laughs>